the last year this has really become a, a reality on a major scale in Lancaster, California. Describe how big the installation is, how much power it produces, how does that compare to fossil fuel power production? What we did was take the concept of having multiple mirrors track using a lot of software and made a prototype on our own rooftop, on this building right here. We had 10 mirrors tracking on the roof about six months after our concept. Then we went out to the desert and we rented some land and we built a facility with 500 mirrors to test whether it would work at full scale. That test worked, so in the middle of 2008 we began construction of a 24,000 mirror facility, which is about an hour away from here in Lancaster, California. Those 24,000 mirrors all shine their sunlight, each one is about one square meter, about the size of a plasma screen TV, the mirrors are about that size and shape. They all reflect their sunlight to a single central tower. This is on 20 acres of land. So imagine a field, 20 acres, it used to be a farm, it used to be a carrot farm. 20 acres of carrot farm now have 20 acres of mirrors, all shining their sunlight to a single spot. That spot gets so hot, it would instantly melt steel. Steel would instantly be dripping down to the ground if we weren't running water through it very fast to cool the steel, but turn the water to steam. That power plant puts out five megawatts of electricity. So 24,000 mirrors on 20 acres produces five megawatts of electricity. We are now going to replicate that all over the world. And we have orders all over the world right now. And how much electricity is five megawatts? Five megawatts is enough to power about 4,000 homes. And the electricity that we're making at that plant right now, we're selling to Southern California Edison. Southern California Edison then puts it onto the grid and powers the homes in Lancaster and Palmdale, California.